All right guys, so to test if this machine is strong enough to run a fridge, and this is a pretty large one. This is a 25 cubic foot side by side um, refrigerator freezer. And the sticker's back there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can read anything off of that, but uh, saying this size and everything up there, I, I can't really see with the fridge off uh, for testing purposes, but. What we're going to do is uh, run the fridge on the generator on about a 75 foot long cord. Now I did just test this out with about 120 feet of cord and the generator overloaded. The overload light came on. It reached a high RPM before and the reason for that is that it's very end of its capability uh, to run this big guy or at least start it because it has a big compressor. So I'm redoing the test. I just tested it out and uh, it seems to work on a 75 foot cord. So we'll just verify that for you. So cord coming from the fridge is right here. Uh, we'll follow it outside and we'll come back in and verify that the fridge works after all is said and done. So um, again, 100 foot worth of cord. Doesn't really like it. 75 feet, not so much. And the generator is fairly close this time still pretty quiet so it's in this full output mode and we're going to verify with the p3 meter i had it here earlier uh, but it was just too far away to use the 75 foot cord but we're going to see what that free surge is at and what it runs at Running, put it in eco mode. Let's go back in. All right, so pretty heavy startup load, and that's probably you. You experience some voltage loss with long runs of extension cord and especially for a small generator that's uh, pretty bad but you see there of course the same compressor is running and we've got light we've got cold air coming through uh, the lights on the fridge are incandescent they pull a couple hundred watts themselves so even in eco mode it's not overloading the uh, freezer's on as you can see and out there it was pulling about 145 watts uh, this fridge tends to pull between 145 and 190 depending on what i'm using if i'm using a modified sine wave power inverter off a battery it tends to pull about 190 but since this generator is giving you uh, very clean power it operates more efficiently and it just works out well so uh, yes it will run a fridge